All right, hi everybody. It's Bonkai922. <coughs> now that we've gotten the fairy tale car accident <laughs> out of the way, let's get to something else. Kenichi. Yeah, surprisingly enough, I was so just sucked, sucked, sucked for fairy tale. I overlooked Kenichi. Kenichi was. This chapter was actually short. It was very short. I thought it was really too short, this chapter. But nevertheless, I'm going to give this probably three and a half out of five. Um, this was... Pretty much this was um, the conclusion to Miyu's fight. Now, I was right about one thing. Ogata. He didn't leave. In this chapter, he didn't leave. Um, he showed up again. And pretty much this one was called That Technique. And, you got, and, and we have a message that says, Volumes 1 to 50 are selling like mega hits. So according to In Japan, the, the, this manga is getting, is getting it, so much craziness. It's, it's getting sold out or something. Which I find funny. But anyway. So Miyu basically. She got to take control of the Doki. Um, and this was an interesting chapter. To say the least. Um, because. It was 512. That technique. And. and this chapter was. Like I said. The, the fight was. I'm not going to say I'm disappointed in the fight. It was a good fight. That she walked, she was able to control the Doki at that point. And it was a good fight. And she was able to come over and continue to fight. And then go blow for blow and take, you know, take out me. Rimi. It's just, I thought it could have been a little bit longer. A little bit longer, but... She's awakening. She wakes in the the Doki Miu. Um, she's able to control it, and <laughs> and and um, Rimi's upset, and she's like that boy. She's like she's before she was like rampaging and si got silent so suddenly. Why? And she's and Miu's saying, "I heard Kenichi's voice." Clearly, clearly, it was the same as back in Thai Dad. And then <laughs> she says, Rimi says, you're, you, you're by the power of love. And Kenichi's like, love? It was so funny. The, the, that part, I thought. It was pretty funny. So, Rimi got pummeled. Really bad by me in this time. To this point of the, the chapter. It was like, like, no shot for Raimi. It was impossible for her to get anything in against Miu. And she got pummeled twice. This is two scenes where she's getting pummeled by, by Miu. And, and Miu was basically saying to herself during this chapter, she was saying that it's kind of funny that because of Junazard from the Tide Dead arc, she's saying it's ironic that because of the training I received from Junazard, I am able to control the key of Doe to this extent. And Rimi tries to get to some kind of offense going against Miu, but it's not working at all. And Berserker has a pretty interesting move. Um, and then, basically, Kenichi was, was noticing that the move she did was a move that Junazar did, which was like a submission move. And then Mimi's like, yeah, we're well, well, well. And then she gets pummeled again. Like, 12 times in a row. She gets absolutely owned might be Miu. And then, you know, she Miu's saying this fight is over, and she says, what a girl. And Rimi's wondering, you know, you to, to control the key to that extent. And it, and Miu says, oh, it's all because of Kenichi. And that's when cue the music. Da -da -da -da. Da -dum. Oh, got it. Shows up, and 
And he's saying that she went easy on her. She wouldn't be a fatal wound. And he starts talking about Katsu Jinkin. There are two types of fighters. Those who use Doki and those who use Seiki. Now, but there are also two... There, those are two different keys, but there are two ty different types of fighters. One is called Katsu Jinken, Ken, and then that's what and that's what he what he says. And you, you see uh, Kenichi saying, "Oh, you're a gata, and we meet again, boy." And then and then he comes down to go greet him, and and me was like, "Kenichi, don't go near him. He's dangerous." And I'm like, and "It's such a weird moment because they um." He he says, he says sorry for the trouble back then, and you know that he was indebted to him because he you know deep deep in the mountains, and he saved him, he saved his life. That was back way back way back, um, and he says I understand that the path of the Katsu Jin Ken and the Satsu Jin Ken walk on are, di are different. Now basically. <clears throat> From what I understand, Katsu Jin Ken are people like Rimi, Berserker, and Okada. Those people. The people who, who are the killings. And people like Um Kenichi and Miyu are that of the Satsu Jin Ken. And that was the whole bit that we're bringing up. And that's when he goes up to Miyu. Kenichi says, oh, I'm glad you're safe. And I have an opponent. It's Berserker of all people. Oh, wait a minute. I Wait. No, I was wrong. I, I, I apologize. I got that mixed up. Satsu Jin Ken are people like Rimi and Ogata. And Katsu Jin Ken are people like Kenichi. So, and then, because he mentions uh, Rimi that, oh, aren't defeated until they're dead, and Rimi hasn't died yet. And then he, she says something interesting. Rimi asks Ogata to teach her a technique. This technique. He says, Kensei-sama, please, that, that, if I can do that, please teach me that technique. We will still be able to fight. And on the side it says, Rimi, who should no longer have any limits, is begging Kensei to teach her that technique. Just what is it? Wait for the next issue that you can't miss. Now, and that's basically the chapter. Now, the funny thing about that it scene was Ryoto, you know, Odin, in the wheelchair. He's looking at Rimi like, what the fuck are you trying to do? So this technique, from what, I under from what I'm seeing here, must be really... Devastating. It must be a technique of, of, of epic proportions that should not be used under any circumstances. And at least that's what I'm seeing. But overall, this was an okay chapter. I'm giving it a three and a half. I mean, compared to <laughs> Fairy Tale. <laughs> I apologize. I got so much hate. Oh my god. I got so much hate for the Fairy Tale review. For the. Well, maybe not for the, the, the announcement for the ending of the anime, but for the fairy tale review, and for some reason, maybe it's because of my reaction of it, the Medica Box review. But it wasn't as bad as the fairy tale review. But overall, this, like I said, let's get back to Kenichi. This was a good chapter. Three and a half out of five. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, we'll wait and see what happens next. Who knows? I mean... I am betting that this technique you should not use. It's one of those techniques where, at least from what I, I can see, that if she uses it, it's going to cause bodily harm. Who knows, it might even kill her. What if it's like an Edo Tensei? No, no, it can't be that. But overall, that's what happened in the chapter. Pretty good chapter. We'll see what happens next week. I mean... Like I said, it was short. I mean, I'm only giving a, I'm giving a three and a half. I'm being very generous. I mean, compared to the other thing, this, you know. So, 
That's the story. This has been Bonkai 922. Uh, good chapter, yeah. That's all I got for you guys. Um, as far as the next manga volumes I might get, I was looking online and I couldn't really find Ubel Blot. Couldn't find it. It's like I think it's one of those shows that's really hard to get on volumes. Same thing with um, Shamo. Vinland Saga, maybe. But I'm thinking I'm going to save my money to an extent as far as volumes is concerned after I get 20th Century Boys. Maybe collect Pluto or something along the lines of... I don't know. I'm thinking about starting collecting Maggie. But we'll see. We'll see. But this has been Bankai922. Sorry to go off there. And I'll see you guys later. Mew. She beat the shit out of Rebe. See ya.